YouTube, Full Row Racing DP here, otherwise known as Dave. Now I'm doing a series of videos um, for wheel settings. Uh, I'm on a Thrustmaster T300, but according to Jack Spade's um, link that he does, um, you can use these settings for all wheels. And what I'm going to do is I'll first show you the uh, base wheel settings, but then I'm going to do each of the car classes. So for this one, it's going to be the road car classes. Now, if we're going to options on the main screen and then into controls, I do advise that you do calibrate your wheel, calibrate your pedals, and also calibrate your force feedback. Now, I'm going to press R2, calibrate force feedback. Now, they do say that for tyre force, you should have this on 100 in conjunction with force feedback on 100 as well. Uh, I would advise perhaps taking a screenshot of these particular settings because I haven't got all the paperwork uh, with me at the moment. So per wheel movement um, is on zeros, wheel position smoothing on 0 0.04, dead zone removal range is 0 0.05, dead zone removal 0 0.01, linkage scale 0 0.00, linkage stiffness 1.00, linkage damping 1.00, relative adjust gain 1.08, relative adjust bleed 0 0.10, Relative adjust clamp 0 0.96, scoop knee at 0 0.70, scoop reduction at 0.15, and the soft clippings at zeros. Uh, like I say, you also do want your uh, force feedback at 100%. Um, if you do find that your wheels are too heavy, though, um, especially if you haven't put the additional settings on I'm about to show you, reduce your tyre force um, down to sort of 70-80%. Um, well, it's not percent, but 70 to 80. Uh, but I'm keeping mine on 100. They do advise having it on uh, 100 at the moment. Now, the force feedback, I do believe, is uh, is on. It's actually in with the cars, I think. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to have a look at the uh, the. Uh, road car class so if we're going to select cars and road cars now I have put all the settings on already for these cars so if we're going to the aerial atom 300 supercharged and I'm going to try and flash through this pretty quick um, because I'm limited to 15 minutes recording time so we've got to edit current setup R1 to go to force feedback okay master scale 36 um, I mean if I read all of these it'll take forever so I'm just going to sort of read off the master scale point out a couple of things uh, I would advise you screenshot of the rest of the settings on here uh, these are taken from um, like I say Jack Spade's uh, settings that he's uh, been working on there's four different ones and these are the 66% ones uh, okay so if we now R2 into body and SOP and you'll notice the, the top four never really change SOP scale always match that up with your master scale uh, and on the PS4 uh, according to the link you can't get them some of them absolutely spot on like for example the SOP should perhaps be 35 but 36 <coughs> excuse me is the closest you can get it okay so get ready to take your screenshots I am going to flash through these fairly quick from now on okay so we go to the aerial atom 500 <coughs> excuse me and r1 to force feedback master scales at 32 and then we'll scroll down to show you the bottom few settings r2 to show you the rest of these settings you notice the sop is the same setting again okay so that's that car so on to the next one which is the audi r8 v10 plus we're going to edit current setup, put on one R1 to force feedback, and take your screenshots. Now, some of you may find it easier to take your screenshots of this than looking at the actual document. Uh, it can be a little confusing. Um, it did take me nearly an hour to uh, put all of the setups on all of the road cars, which is why I decided to do a short video like this. Uh, so that you can just take a snapshot of the settings for your own pleasure or leisure whichever way you want to put it okay so on to the next that back mono is a bit of a beast really 
Okay, BMW 1 Series M Coupe. Into force feedback. And there's your settings for that one. Okay. Ooh, wrong button. On to the next car. The Catrum 7 Classic first. I actually haven't driven that one yet. I've driven the uh, the more powerful one. Okay, master scale is on 32. FX scale seems to be on 64 most cars, but quite a few of the other settings do change quite a bit. How he, well, he must have spent a long, long time going through all of these. It must have taken him an absolute age, uh, but I do know he's been working on it for a long, long time. So you might not be too happy that uh, I'm just thrashing through this like this, but if it helps you out there that uh, want to make these changes, then uh, so be it. I mean, with the tire force and the force feedback on 100%, if you don't do these settings, your wheel will feel very, very heavy. So if you are putting tire force and uh, force feedback up to 100, make sure you do these settings put these settings on save it to all of the tracks and then adjust each individual own cars setup per track the actual mechanical setup that is um, the force feedback settings and these settings just make your wheel feel much better uh, give you much more sense of what is actually happening with the cars excuse me um, but you will still need to do a little bit of work on setup quite possibly so at least this gives you a starting point I personally found that uh, doing some of these setup changes gained me on average uh, well about half a second instantly to be honest um, I uh, was doing time trial around Donington Park in the Formula A and had topped the list uh, till my friend beat me and then I realized hold on a minute I hadn't put these settings on I put the settings on knocked half a second off my lap time uh, and beat him again he's since gone and beat me so I've got to go and do it again at some point but there we go okay so on to the second McLaren like I said I'm gonna thrash through these fairly quick but that's the joy of video you can pause take screenshots and uh, look at it for as long as you like now with me thrashing through it if I do happen to have missed any of the cars um, do feel free to place a comment saying that I've missed the car uh, and I will redo that particular one I say I'm gonna do separate videos for all of the classes um, because I am limited on recording time uh, due to the PS4's recording capabilities, which is really annoying. I could have done it on uh, on Twitch, but to be honest, I'm dog sitting for a few days. I've not actually put it on that car. Balls. Okay, if I've got enough time, then I will um, I will put one on that car. Okay, let's get through the rest of them. The Mitsubishi Evo. Uh, quickly thrash down the list. Now, it would be handy if when you do sort of double click your share button to uh, record on the PS4, it gave you some kind of idea of how long it's been recording for and how long you've got left rather than just popping up a message saying video clip saved because you could be halfway through a sentence and then find out that it's going to uh, run out of video time which is probably what's going to happen um, with that Mercedes if it does then I will do its own special little clip um, and put that onto YouTube separately I find it quite amusing I say and if I happen to miss one then I realize there's one I haven't put settings on and what it would have been I was actually doing this on Twitch uh, yesterday and part way through sort of realized okay really i should be testing the cars before and after and i did do um one of the cars i gave my viewers the option to pick one of the cars for me to uh, oh, sorry wrong one to pick one of the cars for me to do a before and after test with um and that would be why i missed that uh, mercedes well at least that's my excuse 
Okay, I don't think I went to both Porsches then. So I didn't. So do remember going into this car. Okay. So here's the settings for this particular car. Like I say, I'm thrashing through it as quick as I can, but you've got a pause button, so use it. Now I'm hoping that uh, the road cars has the uh, the most uh, cars in it because then it'll get easier after this. Okay, so here's the uh, the Lycan, and I'll let that message get out of the way. It is frustrating if it has popped up on your screen. It's frustrating for you, and it's frustrating for me. Okay, so there are there is all of the uh, road cars. Um, so I shall go and do the Mercedes SLS now. Create new setup. Onto force feedback. Quickly open up my images so we can get the right one. Okay, so the Mercedes SLS AMG. Let's find it on my list. Okay, so we want the master scale at 39, but obviously mine doesn't go to 39 on the PS4, so I go one higher. So we're going to go to 40, and then we want 60 on the FX scale, then 12. And FZ scale is 90, and then 90 again. FX smoothing is 20. That's 20 for pretty much every car. And then the rest of these we don't change, but arm angle we'll have a look. No, that one stays the same. These top four all stay the same. And then we go to SOP scale, as I mentioned. Put this the same as your master scale, so that goes to 40. Lateral scale goes to 120, then 90 for the next one. and SOP damping is zero. So that's that card done. So when you've applied those, press X to save. Save it to all tracks. That way your wheel is set up for your car for every single circuit. You will then need to take all of the cars at some point to the tracks and work on the setup. It's not gonna be a perfect setup for every single circuit. So you are gonna need to work on those and I would advise with that, uh, sort your gears out first then your uh, whether you've got understeer or not so your turning ability your mid corner ability your traction on exit um, and braking as well because obviously if you can't slow down for a corner you're screwed but there we go so there's all of the uh, jack spades wheel settings applied to all of the road cars like i say there is four different versions the, of the settings you can use i've gone with uh, the 66 percent sop lateral so i think that's the one that's supposed to give you a bit more feel on the rear end of the four there's fy and sop lateral settings uh, classic settings the 66 percent i've just mentioned and bumps plus which is supposed to give you more feeling uh, over the bumps and stuff um, but that one i find uh, is a little bit uh, too extreme this i find does give a nice feel on the wheel but like i say if you do find your wheel too heavy reduce the tire force um before you reduce the force feedback so there we go anyway that's the road uh, car class done so if you're interested in those and you want to see what to do for the other classes have a look i shall put those on youtube as well thank you very much i've been for racing dp and i shall see you soon